Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and this is part of my wound care product series. So today we're going to be going over the gecko, but first if you could hit like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So the Gecko Wound Therapy device is a watch-like device designed to provide electrostimulation. The stimulation triggers the calf and foot muscles to pump. Therefore, it improves the blood circulation to the lower limbs. Now, each device delivers two days of therapy, so that's six hours per day of therapy. And the therapy can be paused for up to three hours during the therapy session. But you have to keep in mind that there is at least a 12 hour um, gap needed between therapy sessions. OK, between the two days, there has to be a 12 hour gap. Um, and signs that therapy is having an effect is that there's decreased pain um, for venous insufficiency. Uh, and a decreased heaviness of the leg. Um, so now this can take several weeks to achieve full effectiveness. Um, so this device is to be used under the direct care of a physician, nurse practitioner, or wound care specialist. Um, so it is an order product from them um, and it is used under their direct supervision. Most of the time you'll have a home care nurse coming, uh, teaching how to apply this, um, or even actually coming in every two days, just depending if there's wounds. There's, there's a lot of factors there, um, but this is an ordered product from physician, nurse practitioner, or wound care specialist. It's used for venous insufficiency, arterial insufficiency, or dependent edema. Now we're not going to use this device on any other part of the body other than the lower limb. And we're not going to use this on infected wounds, broken skin, uh, skin eruptions, so like boils, blisters, uh, varicose veins, DVT, so deep vein thrombosis, or cancer lesions. So we're not going to use this device on those. Uh, just like any wound care products, there is always precautions. Um, so skin inflammation or irritation can develop at the contact site. Um, if this does occur, just remove the device and relocate to one of the two other alternate positions. Um, consult with a physician uh, for clients who have implanted medical devices, such as a cardiac pacemaker or insulin pump or if um, they have a suspected or diagnosed uh, deep vein thrombosis, so a uh, blood clot in the leg, um, and um, if they have a heart condition, epilepsy, or have had uh, surgery in their lower leg, um, which muscle contraction, it, if it's going to disturb the healing process of a wound um, or surgical wound, we wanna to talk to a doctor about this before applying it. And we're not going to be using this on children. Um, we cannot get the device wet. We're not going to use the device while driving or operating machinery because your muscles are contracting, your, your foot muscles are contracting. So um, we're not going to be driving while using this. Um, and we're going to turn off the device or remove it prior to uh, any medical procedures um, that that the patient might be having. So the Gecko kit, um, it does include seven devices. Now each device provides the two days of therapy um, at six hours a day for a total of two weeks per Gecko kit, okay? Now that's for one limb. If you need it for both limbs, you would need two kits for the two weeks for application. First, we need to remove the hair around the knee area um, with trimmers or clippers. Now, we're not going to shave the area, but we do need to get rid of the hair. So we're just going to either cut it or use some clippers to remove that hair. Um, and then we're going to cleanse the area with an approved uh, cleanser and pat the area dry. Do not use any moisturizer on this area after it's been cleaned. 
to apply the gecko, we're going to find the fibula head. Um, let me just get my little pointer here. So you can see here, this is the fibula right here. And you can mark this site with a permanent marker. Okay, once you find this site, just mark it with a permanent marker. You're going to remove the device backing card. You're going to position the device um, so that the blue strap goes around um, the front of the leg and the white strap will go around the back of the leg. Okay, and then you're going to um, line up the marker line uh, where, where you had that marker line and you're going to make sure that the actual device is right on that spot to ensure a snug fit. So it's gonna just snugly fit around the leg. Um, if you need to, you can peel one end of the device um, and just gently tighten it, but don't apply tension to the device, okay? Um, if you need it added security, there is adhesive strips that come in with the kit, um, so you can use those. Um, when it's fitted correctly, the word gecko will be just beneath um, the kneecap, so the patella. It'll just be below the kneecap, um, and the device buttons are on the side of the leg. Um, so in the next slide, I'll show you how it should look. Okay, so as you can see here in the pictures, we have the marker line, okay? So that shows where the bone is. And that's where we're going to put the circle part of the gecko device over top of that mark. And then you can see here, we have the blue in the front, the white in the back, and the gecko should be by the knee here, okay? So that is fitted perfectly. Now we need to actually set up the device because it does turn on and turn off and there's 10 different settings on this device. Um, so it will actually flash um, the corresponding number that it, the setting is. So when you're going through the settings, it will flash the actual number of, of flashes is the number of setting that you're at. So now picking the correct setting is quite important because we do want to have a slight twitch um, to the lateral and dorsiflex of the foot, but a slight twitch that is tolerable to the client, okay? And this twitch should go throughout the therapy because that means that the muscles are working and help circulating the blood, um, getting the effect that we want. If there's no twitch, um, it's, it's not working how the device should be, um, okay? So next is just removing it. Now we wanna make sure that you re remove the straps very carefully to ensure that you don't damage the skin. We don't want any skin tears, especially where the straps need to go back. Um, so then we're just going to store the device back on its uh, backing card um, and, and the protective pouch until the next day of therapy, okay? So it is used twice. Um, so at the end of the second day, it, the device just shuts off automatically um, and then therapy is done. So that um, the gecko, it can be uh, disposed of in the electronic waste where available. Frequency of therapy. Um, so once again, the therapy sessions should ideally be six hours long. Um, you can stop it for three, up to three hours per session. Um, and you do need at least a 12 hour break between therapy sessions. Um, now, the therapy may take several weeks to show effectiveness, but your expected outcome is that we have decreased edema related to venous insufficiency, improved blood circulation related to arterial insufficiency, decreased dependent edema, and improved lower leg wound healing due to improved venous and arterial circulation. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it educational and I will catch you in my next one. See you guys.